Stuart Tabin. I wonder if any of you could comment on whether you think the uh, tariff policy of the Trump administration has resulted in the reduced GDP growth rate in China currently, and whether you think the tariff policy will continue to cause a diminution in that growth rate. And also, is that a good thing? Is that a goal? It uh, is a good thing, and it's been cut by about 0.5% according to a Barclays Bank study, which is online. It's a microeconomic study. The Chinese are very worried about this. Uh, President Trump has, in some ways, encouraged their worrying because he said six times now uh, on different TV shows that if Hillary Clinton had won, uh, China would be surpassing America now during her term and that this is not going to happen on my watch. Going from 6.7 GDP growth this year, last year, to 6.2% China GDP, GDP growth this year, if that's your measure of productive policy, we are going to lose over the long term. Because at the end of the day, while we are imposing these tariffs and, and American farmers and consumers are paying all the costs while China lowers its tariffs for everyone else, we are focused on steel, soy, coal, China's focused on quantum computing, AI, biotechnology. They're not thinking about their growth rate in the next quarter. They're thinking about their growth rate in the next quarter century. And for me, a tariff policy <laughs> that goes down, down this, <laughs> this road is not ultimately going to generate a positive outcome for the United States. I would just maybe add one point, which is I don't think the 0.5% diminution of growth is a is a big problem for the Chinese economy, but if the uncertainty associated with tariffs as a bludgeon and with economics as a major tool of statecraft continue, you are gonna see the divergence of supply chains, and that will be an enormous problem for China and its continued growth.